Retail Wrap 27, ISO, debunking, Easter, supporting local and something else. Let's get into it. ISO Live, we're week five of Corona Rush. Let's have a look at a few of the products that have been in high demand over this quarantine period. I think we also have to understand that there's been some quarantine baking going on. With flour, sugar and eggs all flying off the shelves, packaged baking mixes are now in popular demand. Hair salons are under strict restrictions and people are opting for do-it-yourself as hair dye products have been selling out fast. This has not been a problem for me. Body wash soaps and hair removal products as well as acetone have been in big demand. I don't think that's the only thing that's keeping people busy. Condom sales are actually up 54%. So I think there's a little bit more happening than just looking pretty. So what have you been doing in your ISO life? I've got a few mates that say that the first things that they have noticed is they start drinking a lot earlier and they're consuming a lot more alcohol. Is that the same in your household? And get on the beers. Since we did this story, not in the UK, they've said that Easter eggs are a non-essential item, which means that you are unable to buy Easter eggs. At the time, it was reported by several news outlets. However, we became very aware that the news story was debunked. Thank you, BBC, for that one. Woolworths have come out into the press and have reported that they are now not sending any of their toilet paper from South Australia to the Eastern Seaboard. For weeks, they received and dispatched the rolls of gold from South Australia to Victoria for response in unprecedented demand for consumers across the country. But apparently less so in the eastern seaboards. So obviously Woolworths made a decision to be able to send toilet paper to the eastern seaboard. Now I'm sure all the Woolworths customers watching this would have had plenty of toilet paper in their stores in South Australia. I can say that every single packet of toilet paper that came to our distribution centre here in South Australia went to all of our stores in South Australia. So that meant that all of our customers in our Drake stores in South Australia were getting every single packet of toilet paper that we had. And let's hope the next few weeks are only gonna get better in this toilet paper situation. Now more than ever, it's a time that you're gonna to have to choose to support local. I bang on about it all the time. I sound like a broken record about it all the time, but I totally mean that we need to be supporting local. And if it's your local butcher shop, your local fruit and veg shop like St. Bernard's, I don't care as long as you're supporting local because right now we're all in this together. There is a small ray of light for Myers. Having closed their stores in March and let go of 10,000 staff, they have rehired 2,000 of those team members to assist with online sales. Their online sales increased 800% over Easter. Maya reduced their free delivery with any purchases over $49 and relaxed their returns policy. As people turn to online shopping, this is a great way to entice customers and a smart move with their unfortunate store closures. Who would have thought that after probably 10 years and the last two years pretty seriously putting content out, trying to show people what it's like in the retail land from a little bit different point of view, all I had to do was to get a viral video to flip the bird. Obviously, we don't make any of these videos with the hope of doing that. In all honesty, it's been absolutely crazy. And the customers have been absolutely fantastic with it. I've had a couple of people that aren't happy, but I've learned in life you can't please everyone, so you shouldn't try. So it was a huge effort by the team to actually deal with what has happened over the last week and a half. It's been ongoing. There's been 20 interviews on radio from America to Portugal to the UK. We've had a ball doing it, and it sort of gives us a little bit of satisfaction about some of the things we're doing. It's good to see people actually like hearing what's really happening on the retail shop floor. And we also talk about everything else. So I would like to thank all of the digital team, a few people, and the, all of our Drake staff for really banding together over this COVID-19. So if there's some topics that you'd like to cover, I'd love to hear about it. If you're taking photos of all this baking that's going on at home, please leave 
your photos in the comments below so we can have a look at it. We've seen some very interesting creations out there. A huge thanks for everyone getting on board. We've tried to mix things up a little bit for the podcast or on YouTube or on LinkedIn. We really do appreciate that and thank you for sharing it. And let's hope everyone is getting over this COVID-19. I know we are seem to be getting on top of it here in Australia and it's been a huge effort and the stores and the shelves are starting to come back to normal a little bit. So maybe we are looking onwards and upwards here for 2020. <laughs> you are an idiot. You are, <laughs> that's so funny. Long day at the office, has it been? Holy shit. <laughs> Maya, Maya. Oh, don't tell me the flies are back already. Did you just see that? Is it? Oh, fuck. So go stay tuned for these flies. There's definitely a fly out taking this thing.